Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So today I'm going to do a quick cloud mining update video. It's probably been somewhere in the region of five or six weeks since the last update video. So I just wanted to give a brief update how my two cloud mining contracts are doing. So that is a 15 terahash hash flare contract. Uh, it's a Bitcoin contract and also Bitcoin on Genesis mining. That's a 25 terahash contract on Genesis mining. So let's jump straight over to the figures. So this is the hash flare uh, mining figures. Let me see if we scroll down to this uh, a week. So we just finished a week 24 here and you see we received a 0.0018945. Now that is the lowest amount we've received in terms of a weekly kind of payout. Um, it hit that really kind of low when Bitcoin was doing really badly and then we had that slight increase for about a month as the Bitcoin uh, price slowly increase and in the last couple of weeks you know Bitcoin prices uh, dipped again a little bit not as low as it here but it has dipped a little bit and you know we're seeing uh, that played out in our uh, returns now the other thing to say is if we jump over to hash flare uh, you can see here the revenue forecast it's predicting 85 just over 85,000 satoshis a day uh, that's seven dollars uh, US but if we actually have a look at the history so if we look at today's uh, payout you can see here 85,000, just over 85,000 Satoshis, but 62,000 of those, over 62,500 of those uh, went in maintenance fee. So that's, you know, three quarters of our payment each day is going in maintenance fee. So this revenue forecast that it gives you and the calculators will give you are always way out because they don't include that. And that $7 is actually more like, you know, $1.75, something like that. So that's something to be aware of. Um, Let's just jump back to the kind of graph. So if we look at the weekly kind of chart, we can see that initial few weeks when we were reinvesting from 10 terahashes up to 15 terahashes, and then we've seen like a slow, steady de decrease. So we've had uh, a mixture of the decrease in Bitcoin kind of price here and also difficulty on the network. If we look at the overall amounts, we can see we have received 0.069139. Overall, we've actually um, now received slightly more than we've kind of put in. But obviously we reinvest in for those first couple of months meant that you know half of what we've received has gone back into the kind of contract and obviously from you know day four or five whenever we started reinvesting all these payments are therefore higher um all the way down to today uh you know and for the last few months since we hit that 15 have been a third higher than they would have been uh, without that kind of reinvestment. So maybe we shouldn't have reinvested, but that's kind of done now. In terms of uh, what we've made, 0 0.069139 to uh, remove from our 0.1259 Bitcoin. So that's 54.92% we've received in terms of what we can get out. We are at the end of week 24 now, so we're approaching 50% uh, of the contract. There's at current rates, there's no way that we will make a return on investment with this contract. I think the only way that could change if Bitcoin kind of goes back up to the sort of 20,000 mark and maintenance fees uh, become, you know, maybe 20, 25% of the total amount rather than 75%, we might have a, an outside chance of making it. But uh, at the moment, it doesn't look uh, positive. Now let's take a oops. Let's take a quick glance at the Genesis mining contract. This hasn't been running uh, quite as long. We are not quite the end of this month, uh, this week rather. So this last week, week twelve, is not a complete week. So you can ignore that last bar there. Um, you can see here, you know, the decrease in uh, revenue we've been receiving as difficulty on the network has gone up. Uh, this is a bit of an outlier, this figure, in that we received a double, payment, a double payout one day. I'm not quite sure why that was. I don't know if that was um, a legacy payment that hadn't been paid a, a previous, uh, one day previously, but we received a double payment, which makes this look higher than it kind of should do. If not, we've seen roughly that slow, steady uh, decrease. It was, this is when we had a real low in kind of Bitcoin prices, a little increase the last a couple of weeks. So we've actually been paid out in Litecoin, but it is a Bitcoin contract. So it auto converts and then pays us out uh, every day in Litecoin. If we look at um, what we could have bought, so the contract went live on the 28th of Feb, we could have got 15.58 Litecoin and we received just over four Litecoins back. So we've received 20.46% 
of our total investment. Now, unfortunately, this contract, um, when I agreed to do this kind of experiment, um, you had to pre-order contracts. So I actually pre-ordered this contract on the 9th of November. Now this was before Bitcoin spiked in price at the end of last year. And this is you know quite sad reading, but we could have bought 63.8 Litecoin at that day. So if you're being generous, we can work it from this figure, which is when the contract went live, uh, with just over 20% return from this figure, which is what we could have bought if we actually bought when we pre-ordered the contract, literally just over 6%. Um, obviously there's no way we will receive um, anything like this amount over the lifetime of the contract. I think this is probably touch and go whether we will receive it. Uh, my gut reaction is probably we'll receive 80% maybe of what we initially, um, what we could have bought on that day. So that's 19.59. I don't think we'll get to that, but we will see. Um, we're, as you say, week 12, so we're three months into the contract. Um, we're seeing big decreases. So the first week we were up around the 0 0.07 mark. If we do an average that first week, yeah, 0 0.0698. So 0 0.07 uh, average that first week. This week we were averaging 0 0.037. So we're almost at 50% uh, this week of what we were earning uh, 12 weeks ago. So obviously big decreases um, and that will continue, you know, obviously as network difficulty increases. So uh, the takeaway from this is, you know, everything's still ticking along. I'm getting daily payouts from both contracts. Uh, I think there is probably minimal chance of hash flare uh, returning. Genesis mining, because it runs over a longer period, maybe there's a slightly a greater chance but the vast majority of your payments come in that first sort of three to six months of the kind of contract and then you know in six months time I quite imagine we'll be down at probably 20 25 percent of what we were originally earning and then suddenly it's you know it's taking months and months and months just to get a small amount uh, in so my takeaway would be you know I wouldn't bother um, investing in cloud mining I know that the price of some particularly hash flare has gone down they've tried to kind of get more people into the kind of into the network and buying contracts uh, I certainly wouldn't recommend it I wouldn't recommend investing I try and keep this uh, spreadsheet updated a few times a week I'll link to it below so if you want to have a look in between my updates the updates are quite sporadic because there's nothing really going on in the kind of contract now but if you want to kind of keep an eye and see uh, how it's going you can jump onto this spreadsheet whenever it's a public um, a Google document spreadsheet so you can jump onto that with the link below and keep an eye yourself but anyway that's it for today a few people have been asking me what was happening with the cloud mining whether they'd stopped but they are still running but um it's not something I'd recommend and uh, there's not really a lot to say on a kind of weekly or bi-weekly basis. That's why it's been a little bit longer. Maybe I'll try and do a monthly update in future. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you would. That helps other people find the videos and the channel. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.